Yippee! Sweet! Okay, there's our base for our console. Time to go to work. Time to get a lot of these things fixed up. I'm gonna have Dusty and Tyson start on the console. So they got the driver's side seat out, getting ready to build the framework to do that. Once we get that console built, then we'll have a place to run most of these wires to. We'll get this passenger seat out, get some room to actually work in here. With two seats in it, there's just no room to do anything. Two seats in a console, and there'll be barely enough room for two bodies to sit in it. But we're trying to lay out the console in just a way that we can get all the shifters in and leave some room for the heater and AC box. So I spent some time looking last night, trying to figure out dimensions of a couple of different heater boxes so we know what to build for and plan for. Obviously, we don't have the heater box here, so I'm just trying to plan a couple of steps ahead on that. Get those two pieces built, real, or bent real quick. And set them in and figure out the bend for this top piece, because we're gonna go eight inches from the dash to to here and we'll have to, those will be bent as well. Thinking that this angle is probably gonna be pretty similar to the angle up there. Well, we'll have to do a little math or yeah, a little, true. we'll just have to lay it out. Yeah, Let's see, so. When you said math, I thought, no. No, just we'll just lay it out. We'll just lay it out, yeah. That's way easier than math, so. Okay, we're gonna get this figured out. Get some, some measurements here. You know, what he's done since he's got here. Pretty much. Everything is tight, and you could definitely use a quarter more inch on that bolt. Oh, but about is that gonna it. work? No, yep. gonna have like two threads holding that on, okay. or maybe three. Maybe three. Cool. But yeah, those look really nice right there. They're tucked in out of the way, and it more or less just fit in the hole that was already existing. So you just had to open her up. A, I have to open it up like a quarter or a half. Yeah, it was a quarter of an inch on the main diameter and drilled into the bolts to hold it in. Nice. I think they look really good. I think so too. I think it just matches the theme of the build, so. Yeah, it makes it. So. Yep. Cool. Don't break the plants. Yeah. <laughs> and Dusty's over here. Bending these. bottom part of the console. We bought a bender, but it was gonna be a bigger pain in the butt than it was worth. So we just go back to the old fashioned propane torch and see what we get.
So let's see what it does. We may have to slide our line over to the edge of the bag and the scar. It's going to do it. Yeah. Kind of weird to feel it go, huh? Yeah. Put a fixed amount of pressure. Keep, 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 keep going right on there. Yeah, I'm not going to spray it out. It's a bit off. Yeah, so probably let's slide that one. Slide that out just a little. Now heat up outer side. Outer side, because we can't pull that any thinner. But just focus it right right here and right there. Yeah. That'll help. Make more of a radius. Oh. That's right on. Sweet. That worked out pretty good. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Just go ahead and lick that, Tyson. Do it taste like Yeah. Uh, 832. Yeah. We're at 1032. Something like that. You reckon? Cool. Dad, one question. Hit semantics, but. Uh -huh. So, you want that angle or that angle? No, the other. Like that. That angle. I don't know what that's holding up, but. Hopefully nothing. I can see myself right here. Hi, how are you today? <laughs> hmm, bind thread. That's how everything is on this. It's all mill spec. Oh, this was an 80, right? Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Super cool. It's done, huh? Yeah, that's a good saw. A annoying, Dusty didn't need these wires, did he? No. Well. Piece them together. Like everyone else does, just put a little tape on it. Yeah. So cool. That's a really cool saw. Are you not for the new gauges? Yep. Yep. And I think it did it. I think. Yeah, it, it was not going because see the light right there? If it's not if it's not blinking, then it's not going. Oh, the battery's dead. Yippee! Sweet! Okay, there's our base for our console. 
just going to put some self drillers in it for now and when we get it all done we'll put nut certs and probably quarter inch or five sixteenths bolts. But for now we just got to hold it. Well, what do you think Tyson? Fish and wire soon, possible tubing. Yep. So we're going to get it. Or something out. Leverage all your electrician skills here. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a common common theme to run wires through roll cages. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, I thought that was an everyday thing. It's like conduit, but way bigger. <laughs> yeah. And square. And square. And rustier. Yeah. And impossible work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think I'll extend these. Well, probably, um, I think I've got some new connectors. So we'll just put new connectors on. Yeah, so we'll run it right, right to Perfect. that. That'll be, then we don't have an ugly splice. So. Okay. Did they drill holes to come yeah, out there? Yeah, small ones. Oh, yeah, there they are. Right there. No, it's a tiny, tiny little no. circle silver. Tiny when you're fishing wire. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> I just want it. I want it in some of this plastic so it don't bite Jake. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we might have a couple of these going through there. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably going to be easier to do it on a couple, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Able to get those wires fished through there, Tyson? Oh, you're up to there. I'm up to there, and I'm gonna drill this hole down here for getting them down to the connection point. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Fire me and Dusty. <laughs> No, guys, I'm not. No, I'm the first to get fired. No, <laughs> <laughs> on. It's not that clear. <laughs> Anybody's getting fired today. Yeah, anybody. <laughs> so that's the, yeah, rough shape. Okay. Yeah, we probably should get that cut and butt it up to the dash, and we probably got to throw the seat in it and make sure that uh, <laughs> everything fits right. Yeah, you yeah. can actually have everything that the ergonomics are going to work out the way we think they should. Yeah, I think it's looking, cool. looking pretty good though. So. Yeah, me too. I'm liking the, I'm liking it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see the whole shape without tin on it, but we'll have plenty of room up in here for all the gauges and switches. I like it. Awesome. Well, that actually looks pretty good. It's super comfortable. I mean, that doesn't get any more natural than that. That looks really good. But the transfer case shifters will be slid back a little bit, but I think where it's higher, it's still gonna be just fine. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good where it comes up to the dash, and I think, I think we have just enough clearance there. Yeah, like I said, that's a super comfortable spot. Just, I think it's yeah. super natural just to, you know, it's kind of where your hand just falls. Yeah, that's where right you want it to go, yeah. Yeah, I think I like that height too. It seems like a pretty comfortable height. Yeah, and it's not going to get into your seat at all, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Well, carry on. Okay. <clears throat> Tyson's been fighting this for a little while, trying to get these wires to run down through here. The problem is, is this fuel filler runs right through the middle of this tube. We've tried running a fish tape through it, but it's too stiff. We can't get it pulled out of the bottom here. And the wires themselves are too soft 
they'll catch this they kind of curl up and then you can't push them past so um, so Tyson decided to run home grab some Romex uh, that'll be the Goldilocks answer for this whole thing it'll be stiff enough to push past here but but flexible enough that we can run our fingers up in here and pull that back out and then uh, and then we'll be able to pull these wires back down through this too around the fill neck, that's the important part. Yeah. Do I need to point it? Mm. Yeah, maybe spin it. Which way? Anyway, it doesn't matter. There goes. Oh. If I push it down again, it's slid up. There we go. Woo woo! <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> Start over! <laughs> Uh -huh. And I'll bend it over and just make like a hook and then it'll pull it out and all of this will go out down without a problem. Without one hiccup. What's your one hiccup? No hiccups. None at all. I got one hiccup. Oh, do you? No, I thought you said that. No. No, we refuse to have a hiccup. Because okay. I'm not sure if it's no tight in some spots on the fireball. None. So, oh, it's just not fine. Yeah. Not fine Yeah, because <laughs> I will find it. Guaranteed. Yep. I need to define it a little bit. Oh, your coat looks. Wait, wait. Your coat looks awesome, guys. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, Stick okay, it back so in. Stick it back in there so it don't get caught on anything. Yeah. And the big trick is make sure if you get it halfway down and have to pull it back out, it's going to come out too. Yeah. Because. Uh -huh. Getting it in, this is the goal. <laughs> Getting it out might be a bigger goal. <laughs> you don't have to start completely over. Yeah. Oh, cool. Fine, I'm going to pay for this later. I did that. That one time, 22 years ago. Hey, that was super good. Bonita. Bonito. Bonito. Scores. Well. Wow. Chad taught me how to do these. <laughs> no, I don't have to. And you know, it's saying something if it's easy enough that I can do it. Oh no. Oh. I'm like, oh no, it didn't want to come out, but I just didn't want to. Hey! <laughs> it's on and everything! Mm -hmm. I'm getting them done. Hopefully, Matt Trekker starts when she's done. Yeah. <laughs> For real, <it's> Dice! <laughs> I'll just be happy if it doesn't burn down. So. <laughs> I just lost the pen. <laughs> you guys! That's a dollar and a half, you know. It's worth it to have me doing this, right? The dollar and a half. Solid entertainment. Yeah, He's just so showing good. me doing this. Take your this. time, Stacy. Take your time. We don't I have am. anything else going on here. Those are all done. What am I going to do now? I don't know. I'll have to run some more wires, I guess. <laughs> Put them in the plug. Yep. Where oh, I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I, I can do this part. That, the rest is you. See, so you can on yeah, your own. Over there. Well, other than we got to revise it. Yeah, we got to revise it. And, yeah. Are we doing these ones? Well, those ones are going to go into a different plug. A couple of those wires are going to get replaced. Okay, because I'm like, those are See, big. Replace. Break. Oh, it says. Oh, yeah, it does say replace. And With then 14. these will go into a, a different connector that, have, that use the bigger terminals. So no, no, no more. I'm done. Yeah, that's it. Look what I did. Yep. Nice. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yep. Kindle's here. Okay. And you're pinning? Still pinning away. I'm getting closer though. I about got this one filled up. Then I'll go to a different one to take care of all of these.
Dustin, what's Dusty doing? Ah, uh, just more of the same. Building stuff. Carcasses. Huh? Carcasses? Uh-huh, yeah. Just getting it ready so we can put some, so we can cover it. Will you just cover the top so everything's wired and then worry about the sides, or how are you going to do that? Most likely, we'll just, yeah, everything's going to be removable, so everything's just going to bolt on. So we can just pull, the top will actually pull off, and then you can pull the sides out. The top's going to roll over the sides. That works. Yeah, should be good. I got two of them right here. Look <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> at that. I like it. Yeah. Too. That's where that one's going. Yep. Fantastic. The other day, the other day, I saw a bear, a great big bear, oh, way up there. The other day, I saw a bear. A great big bear all the way up there. He looked at me. I looked yeah, at him. I think we just knocked that bad boy and I think we are golden. He sized up me. I sized up him. He sized up me. I sized up him. He said to me. He said to me. Why don't you run? Why don't you run? I see you don't. I see you don't. Have any gun. Have any gun. He said to me. Uh oh, battery down, battery down. Ah. We know what we're doing. Yeah, even a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while. Yeah, yeah, they do. So, yep, still like it. I can't wait till they're actually shining. Mm -hmm. See how the whole effect. So, you almost need some blue dots in the middle, though. I think it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, if they could find some actual glass blue dots. I don't know. I know cool. where some are. Kian might get mad. But... Yeah, <laughs> you would definitely get mad. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, they're mine. I was going to say, you're just kind of repossessing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Dusty gave them to me, so they're not his to steal. <laughs> Dusty and Kendall got this console structure all knocked out. Kendall's back here. He's back here welding it all together. Oh, gee. Yeah, it's okay. And I'm still over here working on this mess. I've got this connector pretty well pinned out. So I'm gonna have to add a second bulkhead to do these little bit bigger wires. This, uh, this connector doesn't have enough of the, the bigger uh, terminals in it. I'll do another one that has some bigger terminals in it to run all of these bigger wires through it. So they'll end up being two bulkheads over on the driver's side. I gotta run a couple more wires, a uh, wire for a brake light switch. I'm gonna use a hydraulic brake light switch. Because of the way this linkage is under here, there really isn't a practical way to do an actual push button style of brake light switch. It's gonna be way easier. Probably put a T in this. 
and then I can put a uh, brake light switch right right in here for that and then I need to add a couple of wires for this this is a electric motor it's a backup a safety motor for the power brakes so if the brake pressure goes away then this motor will kick in so it'll always have power brakes as long as there's some power to it and there's the pressure switch for it I need to find a connector for that I like it awesome. Looks good, Kendall. Are right, you dress it up and be ready to go in and put some sheet metal in it? Yep. Almost looks like a little baby race car frame, so. <laughs> yeah, we like race cars. <laughs> cool. That'll, that'll work good. It's in. And functional for the most part. So, yeah. You think you could sit on that? Oh, yeah. We can do all sorts of activities on that bad boy. Finally got the gauges in. They're looking pretty awesome. Oh look, they have this thing on them. They're freaking awesome. Speed Hut hooked it up again. We have a whole bunch right here too, but we don't have them ready yet, so. All sorts of gauges. Oh yeah, probably more to come. Well, we have the record put away for the week. We'll get it back out on Friday after we get all the customer stuff handled. So that takes care of it for, for this one. Until next time, remember that sometimes in order to move forward, we have to take a couple steps back. Thanks for watching.